I'm back! Welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real, with the Makeup Nurse. Today, I want to show you my eyeshadow palette collection. Um, if this video gets too long, I'm only going to do the eyeshadows. And then um, I know you guys want to see my, the rest of my collection, so I'll do other things um, in another video so it's not so long. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So I have the Fireside uh, Eyeshadow Palette by IBY, a Violet Boss palette, and the coral shades. I have a Viseart palette. Um, this is the Petite Pro palette. Um, the first Sugar Violet Boss. Honestly, you guys, I've never tried that, this palette yet. I have the Moods palette. I actually had two of these and I um, used it quite a bit on this one. And then I forgot about it. But I had two of them and my daughter liked it so uh, that I got in my Ipsy. And I, um, so I gave it to her. So she, she's got one. Here's another IBY Enlightened palette. I tried this one out whenever I did my video with by the waterfall. So it kind of got and I dropped it. Um, a little bit so yeah so I um, got that I have the Chella palette I used it a few times I really I'm not a nude person but I do like you know some of the I, I do like this palette um, I have the Sophia Maybell palette I really like this the colors in here and the formula was good the Stila oh, man I've had this forever I think I've only used it a couple times and I've had it for years. I like it. It's just that it gets, you know, all these things get lost, especially the small one shadows. This is the Moods, just the blue. I wonder if, um, oh, so I'm wondering if it's the same. Yep, it's the same blue as in the palette. Yeah, I don't, I, I, try, um, I don't usually go to like just the one palette um, thingies. So like this is the Aracella palette. So they kind of get lost. And then I have this Beauty Core. It's a one shade. I can't even open it. Look at that color. It's, and I don't think I've ever used it. I have, I've had this, Cl ooh, this Clinique palette for years. Actually, I probably had it for like, 10 years. I think somebody gave it to me like at one of my other jobs like 10 years ago. So yeah, I'm sure it's expired, but you know me. I don't throw anything away. Makeup Geek. Um, this is a dual chrome. Oh, this is a highlighter. Oh, I wonder what it's... And I don't think I've ever used it. Oh, this is a highlighter. I better grab my highlighter part. The Good Girl. This is just a sample. Clinique again. I think this is the same thing that, yep. <laughs> I, I told you, I don't throw anything away. And all this Clinique is from that, the, my coworker that gave me a bunch of her makeup. And so it's like over 10 years old. It Cosmetics, just this little, this is the only thing I have from it. Um, Wanderous. Um, this is Wonder Beauty, the Wonder S Escape Palette. I have two palettes from this um, company, from Wonder Beauty. Here's another um, color, Alter Ego Color Boss, um, Il Maquillage. Ooh, I like that color too. Man, I'm, I'm forgetting all this stuff. And Cover Girl, this is the uh, Peach Scented um, True Naked punch it's scented and it's cover girl so it's cheap wet and wild i just got this haven't tried it yet um let's look at the this is the only palette i have from um complex culture i've used it a couple times oh look at those shades. see i gotta dig it back into some of these palettes the Seraphine Botanicals palette. 
I'm not a nude person, but um, I, I do like the formula. I do like the company. Um, I have Love You Stunning Eyeshadow. Love You First. Oh, I haven't even tried it yet. It still has the cover on it. Lilac and Blackberry. Hmm. I have this from INT Cosmetics, a sample. Um, Orza Beauty. I have a few of these um, little palettes um, from Orza Beauty. It's got the purple in it. Naked Cosmetics. I have a lot of the co um, Naked Cosmetics. And this is a pressed pigment. And I have quite a few of them that I've never tried to press. Um, these pressed pigments, I have tons of different shades, never tried them, and I've had them for a while. So, I'm going to have to try. And then I have this other pressed, this is a loose eyeshadow that I got from LA Colors. Um, the Morphe palette, Coca-Cola palette. And then the Paradise um, Enchanted L'Oreal Paris scented, so another drugstore brand that's scented and cheap um this is the luminati quad palette never tried this yet man that's a lot that i haven't tried yet um the ruby may peppermint mocha palette that i just got the sweet tart frosted i did try this in my um try on video my first impressions video love it and it's scented it's the only thing i actually have from tart actually that's not true i just Another one from Ulta. Huh, I wonder where it's at. This is the Dominique Cosmetics palette. Um, it's all matte, so I've only used a couple of the shades. It's like the transition shade. So um, I probably should go into that a little bit more. This is Liz and Company. Ooh, yep, and it's probably part of my broken stuff. And housekeeping just came in. Um, bad news. They're not going to be happy with me. No, uh, I mean, yesterday they did. Uh, Nomad Cosmetics Palette, the Berlin. Um, I was digging into this quite a bit whenever I first was getting my Ipsy, but now I've had so much that I forgot about it. This is a Tetris Palette, and I have not used it yet. Wow, look at those shades. I should try it. Um, I have the e.l.f. palette that I did, did I try this? Yes, I'm almost positive I tried this in my try-on video. Oh, no, I haven't even tried this one. Look at that. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution e.l.f. Um, collection. I used the other stuff from them, but I have not tr even tried this palette yet. Oh, my gosh. I gotta try it. The Dudes. Duce, Duce, whatever um, palette. I tried this once on my try video. Itsy. Oh, I haven't even tried this one yet either. Wow. Sugar Rush from Flower Beauty. I love this palette. This, this is the Urban Decay Light Beam eyeshadow palette. I like this palette, and my coworker gave it to me for my birthday. She was so sweet. The Emerald 2 by Beauty Creations. I think I've tried this once. The Zoeva Caramel Melange. I think I've tried this once in the try on video. I have the Morphe Cherry Coke. Oops. I tried this once in my try on video. Look at those shades. And it's supposed to smell. I, I remember it smelling just like slight, but. This is the Fluid um, Otherworldly palette. Ooh, it looks like I tried that glitter, but nothing else in this palette. Because the glitter looks like I've been dipped into it. But the rest of them, I don't think I've tried this. And I don't remember it. I have the Makeup Revolution. This is the Red Velvet. Which I have not tried yet. The Pacifica palette. It's alright. Not my favorite. And it's all matte. And these are like very slight, very slight, sh if you would even call it a shimmer. But I call it still a matte. I have the LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow Palette I got in the um, 
advent calendar. I have not tried yet. Oh, this is the tarp palette that I just bought from Ulta. Um, and it's some, well, I had my daughter um, smelling stuff to tell me if it's, if it's scented. And she says it's scented. Yeah, I made her go in and <laughs> smell things. She's probably like, oh my gosh, mom, really? And I wonder what the people were thinking, but anyway, I'm excited to try that. And I'm excited to smell it whenever I get it. This is the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Palette. I have not tried it yet. This is the Makeup Revolution Birthday Cake Palette. And I was so disappointed. I haven't tried them. Um, I tried that one. And this was the cookie one. Chocolate chip cookie one I tried. Which the formula was fine. But I was just disappointed because they didn't smell. This is the Too Faced Christmas Coffee one that I recently got. Um, it's supposed to smell. I'm hoping it does. I think this is one that I made my daughter sniff. I can't remember. Um, and then I have the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl. Oh my gosh, this smells how heavenly. And I love the colors. The uh, Fruitcake Palette. Supposed to, uh, if I remember right, it has a slight smell. This Sweet Peach Palette is beautiful and it does have a, um, a, a heavier scent. So you can actually smell it, which I love. This is the Too Faced, that's my jam palette, and it's supposed, and it smells like a little bit, it wasn't as scented as like this peach one and the cinnamon swirl one, but um, you can still smell a little bit of on it. The teddy bear one, I didn't, um, barely could smell, even before, like I could barely smell it when I first got it. So I was kind of disappointed in that. <clears throat> I have the Too Faced. This is the London palette. It's supposed to smell like um, coffee or whatever. I have not tried this palette yet. <clears throat> but this, um, the teddy bear one, it's more neutral. So, <clears throat> yeah. And then I have the New York Too Faced one that I just bought. This one's supposed to smell like New York cheesecake. And then I have the uh, Christmas in Sydney palette. And I have not tried this one. I forget what this one is supposed to smell like. I wish it said it on here. It said it on the box, but anyway. And I have another one somewhere. Oh, here it is. This one, I remember the Christmas in Rio is supposed to smell like papaya. So, and then I have two of these Winky Looks palettes. I don't really like... The formula, they're really, really powdery, and but they were coffee scented, so I bought them. Um, but I'm not a fan of the formula of those. Um, so anyway, I have the Betty Boop um, eyeshadow. I have In the Balm of Your Hand volume eyeshadow with blush in the palette. The Makeup Revolution Strawberry Palette. This does smell really good. I do like this one. And, and the formula is really good too. Then I have more of these Makeup Revolution ones I have not tried that I thought was going to smell and was disappointed. And I should... All this wasted money. Oh no, this is a... This is an eyeshadow. Why is this in here? This is a highlight one. So this... This needs to go my highlight. Man, two of them. <laughs> and then this is um, the uh, Nudes Chocolate Palette from Makeup Revolution. I haven't tried this one either. thought it would smell, but it didn't. And yes, I smelled them before I lost my smell. Oh, here's the other Wonder Beauty Wonder Rust Rush Palette. I've tried once. Actually, I think I've only... Try that glit glit shade. I haven't tried all the rest. This indica palette by Millennial Beauty infused with cannabis. I really liked this palette. Look at that. It is beautiful. 
the pharmacy makeup that I bought from the company that I just um, um, went into or whatever to sell. I I really did like this palette and I like the colors. Um, then I have another Makeup Revolution palette that I thought would taste like or taste tasty. Tasty Hot Chocolate is the name of it, but I thought it would smell like that, and it doesn't. I have not tried it yet. <clears throat> then I have the NARS that I just did a try on. Here's a bunch of my single eyeshadows, Space Case, and then this Ella Eden. And then this is Colored Rain, Champagne Life. Um, another space case cosmetics. I I got a, quite a few of them. I wonder if I I had to have gotten them in my um Ipsy. This is IBY. This is like a glitter shade. These are more like glitters, which I have not even tried. Nomad Cosmetics. I've not tried a lot of these because they're single, and I usually just have my palette. Here's another one, Eyes on the Prize Color Brass from El Maquillage. That's, these are pretty too. I haven't tried that one. Oh, I haven't even tried this one either. Oh, and it broke. This one is from, I don't know, just this powder eyeshadow. And then it has a little brand thingy on it, so I don't know what that is from. Another Orza 4 Pat 4 Pan, which I have not tried yet. The Pixie Duel, I in my in, I, I don't know if it was a try on video. It was a long time ago. I got this, and it just says mineral bronze. So I thought it was a bronzer. So I tried it as a bronzer. I should have known that. It's it's an eyeshadow. How dumb am I? And I tried it on as a bronzer. Yeah. <clears throat> then I have. This artist couture, it oh I haven't tried it yet. It looks like it's a oh it's just a glitz, so it looks like it's a glitter. And then I have this alternative rocket from the Balm palette. I've tried this a couple times. The formula is okay. Here's another one that from oh I haven't opened it. Um. From, it's called Espresso Tasty. Again, I thought it would smell and did not. Oh, I just ruined it. Um, it's okay. The color scheme is decent. I have this Sugar Daddy from Estate Palette. I tried. Oh, no, I haven't tried it. It's Big Pan. Um, neutrals. Maybe that's why I haven't tried it yet. Um, I have this Barbarella palette. I've tried a couple of the shades. Um, there were lots of reviews about this palette, and a lot of people did not like it. Um, I only tried a couple of these here, so it, it was okay for me, but um, I could see why people didn't really like it. Um, I have the Ruby Kiss palette, which a lot of this makeup, as you have seen, um, the other stuff that I've used that I bought from, I bought a bunch of Ruby Kisses in uh, Magic Collection from this store. It was like this mom pop short store, and I really did not like any of it. I really don't like these. This formula it was like hard and stuff. Um, this is that palette. I have this Natasha Denona palette. I think I've only used it once in a try on video or something, and I might have only used one shade just because I don't gravitate to the, this color scheme. So, here's another palette from Estate. It's the Venice Fling. I have tried, have I tried? Oh, I think I've only used the purple in this palette. All the other ones look untouched. <clears throat> and then I have this Pacifica palette, which I don't think I've tried yet. Even though it looks kind of used, but I don't remember trying it. But maybe I I have this House Laboratories palette. I think I've only used once. 
And then I have this ooh, other Makeup Revolution palette that I bought, thinking, again, it would smell. And this is the Marshmallow one, um, Tasty Marshmallow Wonderful palette. Wonderland palette. But at least this color scheme is pretty. I like those. So at least I like that since it didn't smell. And then I have the two Elf Mint shadow palettes. I've tried, I think, this one once. I don't even, th I don't think I've tried this one. Um, cause I don't really gravitate to the greens, but don't ask me why I bought it. Central Park Face Ice and Cheek Palette from Laura Geller. I thought I've used this. Clearly not, it's untouched. And then um, I have this Shayna B Miami Nights palette. It looks like um, I'm getting another palette in my Ipsy of the same one. So I am going to do that one um, when I get it from my Ipsy as another giveaway after this, the giveaway one that I have it ends. I'm going to give away this pa palette. And there's a couple other duplicate things that I'm getting in my um, in both Ipsy bags because I get the Glam Bag Plus twice um, every month. I get two bags a month. I got one through my daughter and one through me. So I can get two. And the reason I do that is so like when I when my Glam Bag X gets upgraded or when I it's a Glam Bag X, you don't usually get a Glam Bag Plus bag because it upgrades. So I have my daughter subscribe. So then on those months, I get at least a Glam Bag Plus. And on the other months, I get two bags. So I have this ABH um, Nirvana palette. Um, this is the palette that in my video that I did um, near my waterfall that fell in the creek and um, ruined, well, it got immersed. But these shades, even though they're kind of um, look like they're ruined, I still use it and it still works. So even after this palette got immersed in the creek and I had to go chase it because that stupid bee, it still works and I love, love this palette. It's one of my favorites. And so that's my palette collection. I have all these um, liquid eyeshadows and I don't really use liquid eyeshadows so I haven't used any of them. Oh, this is another naked um, pressed pigment um, here. This is the Pharmacy Long Last Creamy Eyeshadow. I haven't tried this one yet. That's the company that I'm trying to um, just because I don't really use creamy, um, I, I gotta try it. I think I've only tried it once, and I tried it with this Too Faced when I first got it, the chocolate matte eyeshadow. You know what? I can't remember if this smells. But anyway, I have the glitter and primer set that I haven't used, and this is from the Magic Collection. Um, I should actually try this. I have this um, Elikia liquid eyeshadow. I think it's a, it says natural. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not sure what color that is. And then I have a bunch of these wet and wild ones that I bought, but I don't know why I bought them. But I thought like, oh, maybe I would use them. I've never even used them. I should at least try them. Especially because that one looks like maybe it's not going to be good anymore. Um, I have an Orza Beauty Oiler Alert Rose. So I'm assuming that's a rose color. I should try some of these. I even have a Marc Jacobs one that I've never tried. And then I have this Ulta Beauty one. Yeah, the only one I've tried was that Too Faced one, and that's because that was the first one I got, and I figured I'd try it. I even have this. Oh my gosh, look. It's almost like, it looks like it evaporated. This is the Hypnotic Lights from Milani I haven't used. Oh, I didn't think I had anything from one size. I have a one size um, eye popper. Huh, I have 
never gotten anything from them that I thought of or that I thought I did. Then I have house laboratories, and these look like more neutral type shades. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Then I have this Julep eyeshadow wand. I wonder what color this is. Oh, it's like a goldy shade. You know what? I need to dig into these. And here's another. Um, this is from Fora, Fiora, whatever. <clears throat> then I have these two from Pinky Rose that I just got in a giveaway, I think, or was it my FC? I don't know. They're more goldy or more neutral shades. <clears throat> and then I have one from Shadow Flip. Oh, from Seattle, London. Jeannie, I just watched her favorites video. She was raving about these. And it is a dual chrome. I'm going to have to try these. Oh, my God. Get outside my comfort zone. <laughs> and then I have these eyeshadow pr or these primers, which, you know what? I just did a NARS video, and I didn't know I had a NARS eyeshadow primer. I could have used it during that video. Oh, what the heck, Jeannie? And then I have this um, Absolute New York primer. And then I have the e.l.f. primer, and then I have this, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this. In all my first videos, I use this every single day. This is the Smashbox um, under eye primer. I totally forgot about this. And then I have this eye primer, primer from M2U New York City that I just got. That's the only eye primers I have are those four. So, yeah, I'm going to... Which is weird. That seems like out of, I have so much makeup and I don't have much eye primers. But I do have another, um, these are the, this is the makeup I've been trying to use up and I use most, almost every day. This is the space case, um, when I don't film, um, like glitter shade. Then I use this little, this purple one. I forget what it's, who it's even from. And then I have the heart candy ones that I've been just trying to use up. This is like a gray color. And then this pink color. I can't open it right now, but it's a, a pinkish color. And then I have this Urban Decay. Oops. Urban Decay glitter palette that I use. That I've been trying to use up just because it's kind of got broken up. And I want to try to use it. And then I have... You know, my bag of a bunch of Urban Decays that got exploded. And these are like more glitter. Um, and then I have these broken palettes. And um, this palette here, a glitter palette from, I don't even know what, because it's got exploded and dirty. But then I also have, um, that I use a lot, is this Kaja. I really like this and the different glitters. As you can see, I'm almost um, done with that one. And then I have this Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. I, You know what? I don't think I've even used this. That shade looks touched, but it could have just be broken. Or like kind of scratched. But I don't think I've used this palette at all. Wow. So that is, we're already at 30 minutes, so I, I don't think I'll go any further um, with uh, my collection for today. If you want to see other, if you want to see the rest of my collection, I can make more videos, just let me know. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell right next to it. And so you're notified of future uploads. And please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And Please let me know um, what your favorite brand is for eyeshadow palettes and what's your favorite palette. I mean, I really love this palette here. It's one of my favorites. Um, that's why I was like almost in tears when it found the creek. Um, if you want to see that video, I can, I can link it, but it's kind of, it's not my favorite video. It's my husband's favorite video because he laughs at it all the time, and I'm like, it's not funny. But anyway. Um, but that's my, one of my favorite palettes. Um, and then, you know, 
whatever but anyway what is your favorite brand and if you're not new here welcome back and thank you for supporting my channel i really appreciate it love you guys and i hope you have a great saturday